Your OxyBaby has to be calibrated at regular intervals. For the majority of applications a weekly calibration is sufficient. The calibration of the OxyBaby for oxygen and CO2 takes place in four steps. First you'll calibrate the lower calibration point of the oxygen and then the CO2 sensor. In general these are the zero points. The next step is to calibrate the upper calibration points of the two sensors. The factory provided upper calibration points are 20.9% for oxygen and 100% for CO2. You may modify the calibration points of both sensors to match your calibration gas analysis. Choose the menu item Settings and then Sensors. Choose the sensor you want to set. Now you can fix the calibration points using the arrow keys. Confirm your value with Enter. With the Escape key you can return to the menu item Settings at any time. When calibrating the zero point of the O2 sensor, use a suitable gas cylinder with a pressure reducing regulator. The most convenient and safest way to calibrate your OxyBaby is to use the appropriate calibration gas set by WIT or authorized subsidiaries. It consists of handy gas cylinders with the calibration gases required and a precision pressure regulator. If you prefer to calibrate using standard gas cylinders with simple pressure regulators, you have to be especially cautious to use a precise, very low pressure, no higher than 200 millibar or 3 psi, in order to protect your OxyBaby from damage. For this purpose, WIT offers a calibration kit, including precision pressure regulator and safety valve. This can also be purchased through authorized subsidiaries. The choice of the gas to be used depends on your application and the carrier gas you use. For the calibration of zero points, we recommend commercial nitrogen or argon. Never use high purity CO2 for the zero point calibration of the oxygen sensor, as this may result in incorrect measurements. Now set a very low pressure with a pressure regulator set no higher than 200 millibar or 3 psi. The flow meter of the wit calibration gas set shows the appropriate flow rate. Allow the gas to flow freely through the hose. You may test the flowing gas for instance with your finger. Insert the OxyBaby needle into the hose so that the OxyBaby can acquire the gas. Make sure that the hose end is not closed flush with the OxyBaby, otherwise pressure could build up and the OxyBaby could be damaged. Use the arrow keys and the enter key to select the menu item calibration and then select O2 sensor 0%. Press the go button to begin the calibration. Once you hear a beep, you've completed the first step. The second step is to calibrate the zero point of the CO2 sensor. As before, use a calibration gas that corresponds to your carrier gas, for example nitrogen or argon. After the calibration of the zero points, you should calibrate the upper points of the two sensors. Start again with the oxygen sensor. Calibrate the OxyBaby for an upper calibration point of 20.9% simply by using fresh ambient air. In the last step, calibrate the upper calibration point of the CO2 sensor with CO2 as calibration gas. The CO2 calibration point again corresponds to your chosen CO2 calibration gas concentration, in this case 100%. It is not necessary to use high purity gas. Commercially available CO2 is sufficient. If desired, WIT offers a factory calibration with certificate.